The other common myth regarding slow release fertilizer and what causes people to hesitate moving to slow release is that their turf is not going to be as healthy. They're used to seeing that flush green growth from a quick release and think that slow release isn't going to uh, get that for them. And really, as we kind of looked at before, you get that lush, lush growth at the beginning with quick release, but you also get the fall really quickly. And so it's those peaks and valleys, whereas the slow release, again, there's still some quick release components in there that are giving an immediate green, you get a result, but it's extending the period a lot longer and you're not having a complete crash. And the other downside with having a crash like that or, or with the overproduction of shoot growth at the beginning is that much like fertilizing in the wrong periods of the year, it's causing the turf to overproduce shoot growth and they can only do that at the expense of the roots. So, you know, repeated flush um, quick release applications like this, really the end result is a very shallow root system that has a hard time mining for nutrients and water and it just kind of becomes this vicious cycle versus the slow release is sustainable.